Alright, this next game for this weekend's birthday bundle is another arcade game in which nobody has ever heard of it, but they have heard the one on the NES. And this is really based off the one that ported over the god awful NES version. And this game is called. Yes, this is called Psycho Soldier, brought to us by SNK of 1987. And you play as the titular characters of... Athena, Asmia, and Shikensu. From the titular King of Fire series. So yes, this is pre-King of Fighters, mind you. This is probably the only game that actually has its own theme song. Well, second, well, I shouldn't say it's the only game that has its own theme song. But actually, it's own theme song being played in... But the only game that probably has a full-blown theme song throughout the entirety of the game. So with that... Let's play this thing. Now, for those who are KOF savvy, well, then you know who Athena really is. She is a she is a pop star who basically. was actually a reincarnation of the goddess Athena. Wow, where have we heard this before? This sounds like... I don't know. An anime I've seen before called Saint Sia. I mean, it is a weird, but interesting little side scroller. And if you notice, yes, every time you touch an enemy, you just basically get thrown off the stage. So now. What we have just witnessed was two games with a certain theme. And of course, the attack she's using is, of course, the cycle ball. Now there is a certain power up that when you get it you can train you can actually change into a dragon.
I mean, this game, as weird as it is, is in Japanified glory. All I'm doing here is just blowing shit up. And this is where we get to the second half of the game, which the music changes. And it's just as weird as you imagine it to be. So unlike the ugly NES port of Afina, this is actually a likable game. I mean, there really, there really isn't much I can say about this game, except that these are one of the many precursors to the the series that later marked the legend in arcades everywhere, the King of Fighters. Just like Art of Fighting was part of the Fatal Fury storyline. Well, so is this game. So is this game being a part of the King of Fire storyline. Blowing shit up constantly? Yeah, bet you sweet ass I am. It is one of those awkward games that I can say you play it once you'll remember it forever mainly because of the theme song Well, we can count Psycho Soldier as being a magical girl series, I suppose. I mean, there's not much I can really say about it. It's just very much an awkward game. Oh, 
It's a funny thing about... It's a funny thing about this series. Because it's basically a part of a bigger series. There's also the US version, but it's just not as good as the Japanese version. I mean, as far as SNK goes, they really pushed the envelope by giving this game its own theme song. Oh, come on, really? So I guess you could say that Athan Asmia is some of, of a maho, uh, maho. What I mean by a maho is she is one of those magic girls. But would it be maho joke? My Hojo. I, I suppose it'd be my Hojo. Just those little things, you know. So what I can say is yes, because of the big boom in anime at the time. Uh, Magical Girl series like Creamy Mommy and Magical Fairy Pelzia. And... And other such notable titles. And during my stay in Japan, I did watch a lot of Magical Schoolgirl series. I mean, you can always use your magic, your Psycho Lightning, but what's the point in that? When well, you can just use this. Now, could this be a recommendation of sorts? It could be. And we have to dip our patties in the water.
I mean, strangely reminds me of cotton in a way. Why I did that? I have no clue why I did that. I feel like I'm finding a bunch of mutant Pokemon. That's why I only feel like I'm fighting off mutant fish Pokemon. I know I hit your ass. Oh, come on, what was that? Okay, what else are we facing around here that I don't even know about? I know, it's unusual that I'm doing this during a time that I don't usually do LPs. But I felt, you know. Figure, you know, why not? <clears throat> I mean, the controls are nice and smooth. I see no problem with the controls. I got hamburgers now. Yes. 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 Oh. That was silly. <laughs> that again was silly. Don't you know, tech dude? Talking about hamburgers. <clears throat> well, I guess this seems like the last area of the game. Somebody told me about hamburgers while well, in the middle of the game. 
and somebody already cooking something. Do it do try to um Explain that to me, please. Somebody try to explain that to me. I rarely make Tenkai burgers these days. And God damn it. That card right there was the one that would change would transform you. Most likely into a phoenix. Even when soup is already made. And why am I talking about this during a Let's Play? In a birthday Let's Play, no less. Sure, campiness is the game. I swear, it's like it's like one girl with psychic abilities, along with this one guy who have the hots for her. Also, with psychic abilities. Go to save the world. Go off. Most likely some by an old man who says, You want to go save the world! This is your... This is your destiny! This is what you must do! Okay, I stand corrected. This is the final area of the game. Cycle ball or cycle fall. Oh, yeah, did we mention she's also a pop idol? I don't like creamy mommy. When I look at this, I think of Contra. I don't know why. Now these parts will somewhat, um, regen. Because once you hit them... They regen right back to the state that they were destroyed from.
kind of rude just to say, Hey, we have a burger tonight? I've always had a photo photographic memory. So yeah, that makes me dangerous. That means... Do not put me down or else I will remember the one thing you just said to me that will put me down. I'm not calling this as a threat, it's just something that I remember having since childhood. And to this day, I still have it, my photographic memory. Man, the sprite limitations are fierce in this game. This basically asks the question, how long is this stage? Wouldn't we all like to know how long this God for second stage is? I'm using Cycle Ball a lot because, well... The stage has a tendency to... basically go against the grain and everything that is anything can and will blow you up. Or hurt you, or do some nasty little things to you. And really, it's the age of this game that sounds so, like, choppy at some parts. Especially around this area. All the weirdness that goes on in this game. This is truly a weird game. Oh look! A final boss out of nowhere. Final boss can be a bit of a joke because as long as you shoot the core and reload and shoot outside the screen, you'll be just fine. I feel like every time
I feel like I'm being reminded of Chuck Rock all of a sudden. After all this, finally, it's over. Please say it's over. Oh yeah, it's over. Because it says exit. That means it's over. You did it! Congratulations. It was a hard and painful fight. However, the enemies caused the darkness to to the world were defeated by the brave warrior. And I can't really just say, yeah, fine, my name is Iza. Iza, Jinjo ni Shobu! Now don't laugh, that's the name of a band, so even though I spelled it wrong, that's okay. So yeah, this has been Psycho Soldier, brought to us by SNK of 1987. Till then, this was the second part of our birthday bundle. Of course, it's been the under uh, the underdog of the underrated and a Tenkaichi of gaming. Yeah, seven. Wow, I haven't sat down in a long time. And with that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>